Hi everyone, this is Sandy and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card using Copic markers and this Art Impression stamp. So I'm going to be using my MISTI to line up the image and the sentiment. I'm using a piece of scrap paper to stamp the image first and then I'll stamp it again without re-inking onto the paper I'm going to use to color on. And this will give me a second generation image. The stamp has a button up top, but I wanted to change that because I'm going to put a pattern on the front. So before I stamp the final impression, I'm just going to wet a Q-tip with a baby wipe and remove the line down the center of her top. I'm using Memento Rich Cocoa for the image and Memento Tuxedo Black for the sentiment. And I'll be using Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock cut at four and a quarter by five and a half, which is an A2 size. And I'll be trimming it down to put on an A2 card base. I'll be using some pencil to draw in some details, but only coloring next to the pencil line and then I'll be erasing lines before coloring in those areas. And my light source will be coming from the top left. Uh, this video is mostly coloring, so I'm just going to stop talking now and I'm going to put some music on and let you watch.
that's pretty much all the coloring uh, for this card. Once I was finished, I felt like the purple wasn't quite vibrant enough against all that green, so I just went back and darkened up a few areas. And I took the Simon Says Stamp Stitch Rectangle Die and trimmed it up. It's the largest one. And put it on a Nina 100 pound Desert Storm card base. Cut it a two, um, five and a half by four and a quarter. And once I put a little bit of glossy accents in, on her um, glasses, this is it for this card. I'll list all the products I used in the description area on, of the video. Once again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Please feel free to comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, feel free also to like or subscribe. Thanks again. Bye!